Okay guys, today's video is sponsored by Madesite. They provided me with this brand new standing electric desk. This is their new model called the S2. I've cleared out some space in the corner of my bedroom here to set this up because most people nowadays are still working remotely and this is perfect if you are working from home quite often. You're going to need to have a standing desk as well because for your posture purposes and just for general health, it's really common to make sure you stand from time to time and to not just sit down and slouch over your desk all day. So the motto of the made site standing desks is discover the fun of stand working. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack these two boxes, showcase all of the pieces that come inside it, how easy it is to set up because they provide very clear instructions in a video tutorial on their website as well. I'm gonna run through the specifications, the sizes, the weight limits, all that kind of stuff, and then give you guys a desk tour of what the final product will look like. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's everything in the box. You've got all of your legs and frames, the connecting frames for the electrical stand. You've got the two heavy duty legs there with the cables coming out of it that will attach to the electrical unit. Very simple to do so. And then this is the actual tabletop. The size of this is 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So plenty of real estate for getting at least a couple of monitors on there. One thing I really like about this, it has rounded corners, which makes it a little bit more safe. So if you have maybe some kids running around, you don't want them to run into corners that are very sharp edged. You've got all of the screw holes there at the top making it very easy to understand where to place everything once you are starting to connect it and assemble it. You also get a hole for some additional cables from your tabletop to go down with the cable management that will be sitting underneath this desk once we set it up. Here's all of the screws and pieces to connect it together. It might seem like a lot, but actually it looks very straightforward. There's not a whole lot of pieces and they say it may take about 15 to 20 minutes to assemble everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a start on that and see how it goes. Okay, so just starting off with step one, I've taken all of the screws and pieces out, just aligned them with the labels on the package itself, which is very useful. Gonna get the heavy leg first. This is the one with the cable sticking out of it. Gonna put it into the bracket that attaches to the main unit there. And I'm gonna start screwing in to the holes on both sides. And I will do this for both legs with the other piece here. There's 10 steps all together in the instruction manual, which seems pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and make a start. Okay, both of the frame and pieces are now connected to the legs. This took a total of three minutes. So it was very quick, very straightforward. Now moving on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is also very easy. Grab each of the legs, grab the side pieces, make sure they are positioned the right way and you slot them in the back like so. Grab two of these screws and then screw them in underneath and that will be the base for your legs. So I'm going to do that with this one and with the second one, no more than two minutes. Step number four is pretty easy. You take the center rails, you slot them into the frame ends, making sure these slots are facing inwards. So I've got the legs just on the floor and now I'm just going to slot them both into each end. There we go, simple as that. Now moving on to step five, and that is going to be to put on the legs. This step is super easy. Again, no more than a couple of minutes. Get four of these screws. Slot them into the bottom. Then use the Allen key, make sure they're tight. Do the same on the other side. Okay, I have placed the legs now onto the desktop. You just have to reposition it to make sure that the holes align with the pre-drilled holes because that is quite important. And a lot of standing desks nowadays might not have pre-drilled holes, but this is a lot safer as well. So you don't damage and maybe drill all the way through, maybe providing any cracks or anything like that. So I think that's great. Each of these holes had a rubber grip inside them. So just take them out and then you are ready to screw in the wood screws. There we go, step seven complete. Seven screws in place, two on the end legs there, two on those end legs, and then three in the middle here, like so. 
And now we are ready to move on to step eight, which is to attach the main electrical unit and plug this in. There we go, everything is now connected. So that leg is connected there with the yellow cable. This one to there, that's the power cable. And that is the handset to control the standing desk, which I'm going to screw into that side. I've done a bit of a cable tidy. I'm gonna slot this in because this is the box that is going to just cover this whole unit just to make it a little bit cleaner. There's a slot at the end where you can get this cable to stick out of just to make it a bit more tidy. But if you wanted to maybe use the cable and switch sides for the handset at any time, it comes with these sticky pads and straps that you can place pretty much anywhere underneath that desk and cable manage it yourself. And putting this cable cover just on the top is step nine. After that, there's only one more step left and we are finished. And there we have it guys. Step 10, turn it over, plug it in, make sure everything is working. So now that I've done everything, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the handset. You can see it's currently off. You just tap it and it comes on. That value there, 72, is the number of centimeters. It is actually from the floor. I've measured it with a measuring tape and that is pretty accurate. It's about 71 centimeters, but that's absolutely fine. To adjust the height of the desk, you literally just press the up arrow. It will start going up. You just hold it down. And this is telling you how high it is. So there we go, 98, pretty tall. Let's go to the maximum. which is 120 and that is very tall. Now in terms of the height range, this is you know really useful for anyone that's between five foot and just above six foot as well. It caters for the majority of people out there. So you can be sure that if you do buy this standing desk, it's going to cover all of your standing needs. Let's dive in a little bit more about the handset and see what other functionalities it has. Okay, so this is a very premium touchscreen digital display. It goes off by default after a few seconds of inactivity to turn it on. Just double tap somewhere and you can see it highlights 72 centimeters height. You can bring it up manually using the arrow keys. It's very smooth and it has a dual motor as well. So you don't really hear it much. It's very quiet and very easy to control. Then you have these buttons here, one, two, three, four. If I just take it up a little bit higher, Let's go to 84. If I press the one button, this is set to go to its lowest height. You can actually adjust it as well if you want the lowest height to be something other than the uh, maximum lowest height at 72 centimeters. But if you wanted to set certain heights for the rest of these buttons, two, three, four, setting it with the memory button. So for example, you see there's the letter M at the end. I'm just gonna set that to 84, press M and then press two. The two button is now going to be set at this height. If I want to set it again, maybe at a different height for number three, let's go around, let's say 93, press M, you get the S for set, and then three. And then once it disappears, it's set. And then finally, let's do number four. Maybe I go a little bit higher to 1010 mode. Four. there we go that's set so now if we wanted to go back to any of the other heights let's go back to three there we go exactly where it was back to two and then finally one was the 72 back to its lowest now there's a feature here on the top right hand side there's an on off button if you turn it on you can cycle between 0.5 hours, 30 minutes, one hour or two hours. If you leave it on set, let's say for example, half an hour, then in 30 minutes time, the whole desk will start vibrating, giving you a reminder to stand up. And that's when you can start adjusting everything to point it to any of your modes one to four. And it will stop vibrating, you know, after maybe about 20 seconds. But it's a very nice feature just so that you don't need to sit down for very long times and give yourself a little bit of a reminder to maybe it's time to stand. So you can do that for half an hour, one hour or two hours, which I think is great. 
If you just wanted to turn that off, you simply hit the on off button there. And the last thing in this, which I really like, there's a USB port just on the side, so you can use this to charge your phones as well, which is an excellent little touch, so you don't need to have any additional cables flying around the desk. So that's an introduction to the handset. It's very nice, very easy, and this is the complete S2 model of the made site standing desk range. Let's go ahead and set it up and see how it looks against the wall. This has one other really cool technology built into it called anti-collision tech. If the desk is slightly higher and you're bringing it back down, if there's an obstacle in the way, it will automatically detect it and stop at that point, just bringing the desk up a little bit. Right now you can see the chair, it can't fully go underneath, so I'm just gonna make the desk a little bit taller. Just pull the chair out a little bit. Let's put it on mode two, for example. Actually, let's go a little bit higher to mode three. Now I'm gonna move this chair underneath and you'll see as soon as the desk hits the armrest, it will detect it, stop, and bring it back up a little bit and it won't go down fully to its lowest level. Now, as you saw, 72 centimeters, the chair wasn't able to go in fully. So I'm gonna press one and watch what happens when it hits the armrest. It detected it. It goes up a little bit, maybe about 10 centimeters and it stops there by 80. So it didn't go fully down to 72. If you have maybe little kids running around and they're hiding under your desk, you didn't see them and you're trying to lower the height of the desk, this is quite a good safety security feature as well. And that for me is very impressive. If I move the chair fully out, now it should be able to go back down to its lowest level 72. So that's it guys. Here is the final setup of my desk. I've got my monitor there. I have my speakers on the sides, got my keyboard and mouse. It's a very minimal, clean setup. It just looks very nice. I like the eco-friendly MDF wood. It's rounded corners, just makes it a lot more safer when you are working around your desk. And for me personally, it just brightens up and gives my bedroom a good ambience and a remote working corner. And not only during the daytime, but even at the nighttime when you have some nice ambient lighting on around it, it still looks great. And I can see myself working here later in the evenings as well, because I just think it really performs very well. Take a look at the description below. It's 319 pounds at the time of this video. They may run some offers from time to time, so they could have vouchers and discount codes. So make sure you keep an eye out on the website for any of those discounts. If you guys have any questions about this desk, then please do drop a comment down below. If you like this review and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.